Purpose and Meaning of the Individual Revisited. This is a video from, I'm replacing from January 2014, and it's sort of a petition of other videos I've talked about before. Uh, the one video that really relates to this is what I did on pets and reincarnation. And another video where I talked about individualism too. I should be talking more directly in the microphone here. Individualism. Uh, and I pointed out in another video where I was talking about how I, as a human we're perhaps at the tip of individualization. We're at the peak of it. We're the most individualized, the most isolated uh, that you can be. There's no more group soul. Well, there's a group soul, but we're not part of like a, a swarm, you know, of bees or something like that. We're individual actors, free agents to the a good part of our existence. Of course, that varies to where you are and your political situation. So that's really what I was trying to think of with this video. But it was kind of a wandering video, and it was actually two different scenes I put together. But that's really the gist of it, the purpose of the you know, individual and how that we're kind of the peak of the individual. I think it's all about experience when it comes down to, you know, what it's really all about. A very unique opportunity for learning and experiences as a human. It's probably a unique spot in the world, in the uh, multiverse. <laughs> okay, personal uh, purpose and meaning revisited of the individual. Um, and then I was talking about material and personal success, you know, in the pursuit of chasing the cheese, you know, raising a family, spouse, having a spouse with children, you know, and kind of filling the void of your life, what's ahead. It's a common answer for most. You get the boat, you get the uh, second house if you're doing well. The usual, you know, check marks on the list. You know, versus doing the poverty lifestyle as a minimalist. A friend of mine is uh, very good at that. He's not religious per se, but he lives like a more Zen life than most people I know. Really gotten himself down a real minimalistic existence, pretty much. And I'm kind of trying to do the same. You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to go back. You know, I've spent the first 60 years of my life uh, accumulating junk, and of course, I'm still buying a few things, but. Now it's about getting rid of some of this junk and slimming down and getting it to, you know, a, a modest heap of junk I've got piled up. Um, and this is kind of contrast to someone I used to know who, uh, she had the opposite philosophy. She would buy everything she wanted. She wouldn't worry about debt so much. She'd let the debt stack up. Uh, and her philosophy was, hey, I'm enjoying all this stuff. I've got it now, you know, whereas me, I've never had some, most of that stuff. <laughs> I, I don't buy a Mac. <laughs> I, you know, I'm, I do everything on the cheap. So I don't know. It's To me, it's the stress of debt that stops me from doing that. Uh, enjoy, but not be a slave to material goods is, I think, the wisdom out of the that whole talk there. So then I was worrying about the purpose of the individual as just an individual, you know, in a crowd of uh, many, you know, the rabbit being chased by the coyote, you know, the rabbit being food for the coyote, the mice being food for the, the coyotes. Um, and how we're all hardwired for sex, you know, such an automatic impulse that really dictates our lives in a way that really defies logic, um, kind of colors everything. And then this whole thing about religion, you know, and the whole concept of God. God is a placeholder. God is a, uh, is a cop-out, really. A cop-out uh, when you can't explain something. You know, it's God. Uh, mass media, population... The whole debate about population, if we're killing ourselves with overpopulation or not. Uh, mass, media, and population. How does that go together? Harder to stand out. 
kind of talking about that as a musician or something else, you know, or a poet. I kind of wonder if some of the great poets would have stood out in a environment like we have today, you know, where there's so much out there, there's so many poets out there. It's so hard for one to stand out. I guess people still do, though. Uh, and, you know, being fruitful and multiplying, is there a limit to that? You know, is there a limit to how much we develop the world? Is there a limit to how many people we pack on this planet? Um, and then I started talking about the bigger cosmos, you know, how we're just a small sliver of the EM spectrum that we can even perceive. There's uh, got to be so much out there that we don't even have any clue of. Uh, even, you know, even dimensions of the EM spectrum, uh, slices, we only see a couple slices of the EM spectrum, uh, visible light and uh, audible sound. There's a whole bunch between those two and a whole bunch beyond those two. Uh, but then you go more galactic. Even on a more galactic stand, uh, we're just a small little speck in this big, you know, uh, Milky Way galaxy. And Milky Way galaxy is just a galaxy among many galaxies. I mean, the size is just, as you go upwards, is just so, you know, we might all be the, we might all be part of a bacteria on a left toe of a real god, you know. <laughs> um, we're just such a tiny spot in the cosmos. And then you can go the other way. You can go microscopic, you know. If you went down to the size of a uh, dust, you know, in your house, you'd see these big, giant dust mites walking around and all kinds of stuff you don't see. So it's like different dimensions, different sizes, different uh, times, you know. it's We're such a small slice of the whole pie. It's tough to believe that, you know, we're the only ones how different or similar other situations are in niches, you know. I think about that a lot, other people's lives, you know, what it must be like to live like they live, um, the pain they feel, you know, and the sorrows, the joys, the uh, luxuries they may have, the burdens they may have. It's interesting what p choices people make. But that's maybe the ultimate purpose of the individual, that we can all make those choices, go our own ways, and uh, do our thing, you know. Everybody doing, expressing what they try to find, trying to fill that void again, you know. The <laughs> but that's, that's just kind of a rat chasing the cheese thing, trying to fill the void that'll never get filled. When it's filled, you got to empty it again because it's just junk. Kind of like life. Well, hope that helps somebody or sparks some ideas.